With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Students, the question is the locus of the centers of the circle which touch x square plus y square equal to a square and x square plus y square equal to 4ax externally is. Okay, so we need to find the locus for the circle for the center of the circle which touches these two circles externally. Right, so the first equation of the circle that is given to us is x square plus y square equal to a square. And this is the standard equation of the circle and we know that in that center is what? Let the center be C1. So in this we know our center is 0 comma 0 and radius is what? Here we will take radius as R1 and that is equal to A. Okay. Now the next equation that is given to us is x square plus y square minus 4ax equal to 0. This I am taking on the left hand side, right? So... From here we can write down its center. So let its center be C2. So the coordinates of its center are 2a comma 0 and radius I am taking as R2 for this. So R2 is what it is 2a. Okay. Now let the coordinates for the center be x comma y of that circle that is touching externally this circle. Okay. So its center be x comma y and its radius be R. So if I see it diagrammatically, so this is one circle and this is another circle. So its center C we have taken as x comma y and the another circle let it be C1 circle. Okay, this is C1 circle whose center coordinate we have already seen that is 0 comma 0 and whose radius was A and its radius we have taken as R. So I am writing here R. Okay. Now we know the condition when any two circle touch each other externally then the condition is what? We can say that C1, C this distance is equal to R plus A, right? So this distance so we can find out by using distance formula C, C1, right? So that is what? Under root X2 minus X1 that means X minus 0 whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 that means Y minus 0 whole square, okay? And this distance is equal to R plus A. Okay, so I am writing here R plus A. This is the first condition which we got. Now the second condition is when, see, this is one circle that is touching the other circle externally and this time I am taking this circle as C2. Okay, this is as it is C. X comma Y is its center and this is the radius for it. But for C2, we have seen that its center, suppose this is the center somewhere here. So its center we have seen as 2a comma 0 and its radius we have seen it equal to 2a okay so i am writing here 2a now for this also we will write this condition for externally so applying the condition we can say that the distance this distance is equal to 2a plus r that means c2 into c c to c this distance is equal to 2a plus r again we will find this by using distance formula so we will go get here x minus 2a whole square this is y square equal to 2a plus r okay now see what we are going to do is from here we will take out the value for r and we will put it here okay so this implies from here r will be equal to what it will be this under root of this is what x minus 0 whole square that is x square plus y square and then minus a Okay, so minus a, this is the value for r. So this value we will put here. So we get left hand side will be as it is. That is under root of x minus 2a square plus y square equal to. Here 2a minus a will be plus a. And then this value that is under root of x square plus y square. Okay. Now here we are going to do squaring both the sides. And also we are going to use the property of a minus b whole square okay so a minus b whole square is what it is a square plus b square minus 2 a b okay also one more property we will use here that is of a plus b whole square so we know that a plus b whole square is what it is a square plus b square plus 2 a b so left hand side we will use this a minus b whole square and here we are going to use a plus b whole square so we get 
here we will get as x square plus y square plus 4a square minus 4ax equal to here we will get x square plus y square plus a square and then plus 2a into under root of x square plus y square okay so on simplification we are getting this as 3a square minus 4ax equal to this will be 2a under root of x square plus y square now see from here we can take a common so on taking a common we are having here 3a minus 4x equal to 2a under root of x square plus y square now this a and a will get cancelled and then we will do squaring both the sides okay so after using the property again of a minus b whole square we are going to get this as 9a square plus 16 x square minus 24 ax equal to this will become 4 and it's a square that means x square plus y square and 4 will be multiplied inside so 4 x square plus 4 y square okay so on solving this we are getting it as 12 x square minus 4 y square minus 24 ax plus 9 a square equal to 0 okay so this is the locus for the centers of the circle which touches x square plus y square equal to a square and x square plus y square is equal to 4ax externally right so this is the required answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today